What's up guys? Today's video is very exciting because we are trying Gassans for the first time ever. So if you guys are not familiar with Gassans, they are a Mediterranean restaurant. And if I had to compare them to something, I would say they're very similar to maybe like Chipotle or even Jimmy John's or Jersey Mike's, except they are Mediterranean. They actually have a very big menu. So I did go ahead and place my order online. So you either have to go inside to order or you can order online I got the steak and cheese sub which I believe is their most popular menu item I got that with a side of Zayatar fries I'm probably pronouncing that wrong and then I got a second side for an additional dollar and I got the fried cauliflower then I also got the chicken pita I believe it's the chicken slug chicken savlaki. I think that's how you pronounce it. That's the kind of chicken that's on the pita. So I got that with rice because I really wanted to try their rice and I also got a pickle on the side and then I got the falafel bites because I feel like you cannot get Mediterranean food and not get the falafel appetizer. Let's head over to Gassan's, pick up this order, we'll do the big food reveal and then we will dive in to this food. All right you guys, our Gassan bag has been secured. Oh, I am so ready. So let's open this up and see what we got. I just want to say that place was bumping. Like there were so many people inside, so many people sitting outside eating. The entire parking lot was filled. There was nowhere to park. I had to park pretty far away and then walk over. So this place must be very good because wow. I have never seen so many people at an establishment before. <laughs> okay, I think these are the falafel bites. Ooh, yes they are. Oh my gosh, these look so good. And then I think it comes with tzatziki sauce. Actually, this doesn't really look like tzatziki sauce based on what I've had in the past, so I don't know. We'll see what it tastes like once I try it. Okay, next up we have this container. This is the, ooh, this is the sub. Okay, I'll show you guys up close once I unwrap it, but that's the steak and cheese sub. These are the Zayatar fries. Let's go ahead and try these. These look good. Oh my gosh, they are good. Mmm. I don't know what it is on the fries. I'll try to pop it up on the screen what this seasoning is, but this is really good. And then the little fried cauliflower. Mmm. That looks amazing. Okay, last up we have the chicken pita. Mmm. Oh, it's just regular white rice. I thought it was gonna be some sort of seasoned rice, but it's okay, because we got all those fries. Okay, here's the pita. Ooh, this looks delicious. Oh my goodness. Look at this pita, you guys. Oh my gosh, it looks so yummy. Ooh, I'm ready to try that. Okay, so we're actually gonna try the falafel first with whatever this sauce is maybe i'll just pop it up on the screen so you guys know i'm sorry i didn't really read the description on the website oh my gosh these are incredible i think this is like a hummus dip It tastes exactly like a classic hummus, but of course it's a saucy consistency. Oh my gosh, these are so delicious. Uh, I don't think I mentioned this earlier, but this Gassan's actually just opened up. So <laughs> that's why I'm trying it for the first time. I remember on campus at my college, we had a Gassan's, but I never tried it at college because right beside of the Gassan's, there was also a Salsaritas, a Chick-fil-A, and then either a Japanese or a Chinese spot. So, I would always just get one of those instead of Gassan's, but I remember my best friend who I went to college with, she absolutely loved Gassan's, and I see why. So far, I'm very impressed. Okay, let's try this. I also want to talk to you guys about some 
um, show recommendations that I have because I've watched some really good shows over on Netflix for the most part. This is amazing. Wow. Mm. Sorry, this is kind of a lot to chew. But um, the seasoning on this meat, they have it seasoned to perfection. I want to say mayo is on here. I'm almost getting like a mayo sauce. Okay, I can't say it's the best steak and cheese sub that I've had because I've had some pretty good steak and cheese subs in my life. But this, this freaking hits, okay? It, it hits the spot, it hits the taste buds so perfectly. Mm. Yeah, that's super yummy. Now let's try one of our fried cauliflowers. Oh, these little suckers are good. Like a burst of flavor in your mouth. Mmm. Really good on its own as well. Now, it definitely tastes like cauliflower. So, if you're not a fan of cauliflower, I did think that it was going to be breaded. Let me show you guys it up close. So... Yeah, I thought this was going to be breaded because it said fried cauliflower, but it's actually not breaded. So just beware if you decide to get this. It's not like a breaded cauliflower or anything. And it definitely tastes like cauliflower. But with that being said, I enjoy it. I love my veggies. <laughs> I love broccoli. I love cauliflower too. I mean, I definitely like broccoli more, but those are solid. Okay, let's try the pita. And then we'll talk Netflix show recommendations. So Gabe and I is actually watching a show right now, which I would watch the others that I say before you watch this one, but we're pretty into this one. It took us like an episode or two to get into it, but it's been really good. I would say it's Stranger Things meets Ghostbusters and it's called Lockwood and & Co. And it's honestly been really good. We've both been enjoying it. And the actors, they're like cute kids. Well, I don't know if they're kids. They're like young adults. <laughs> cute little young adult actors. I've been enjoying their personalities. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, Okay, I may actually like this better than the sub, which I love me a good pita. Well, I think technically this is a euro right they call it a pita on their menu but i think technically it would be considered a euro because euros are mediterranean right or are they greek what is the difference between greek and mediterranean i'm not sure let me know <laughs> mm. wow yeah this has incredible flavor what this one looks like inside getting in there the sub by far is way easier to eat because I feel like sometimes you have to take into consideration how easy it is to eat the item like how messy it is this is definitely a messier item but the taste is on point Okay, so yeah, Lockwood & Co, pretty good show. If you kind of like that genre of show, definitely check that out. And then what you really need to watch is a show called Beef. I actually posted this on my Instagram. 
and a lot of you guys said that y'all were watching it too if you haven't checked it out oh my gosh it's so good i was actually hesitant to watch it at first because the premise of the show kind of reminded me of this movie that i watched called road rage and um, It was the worst movie ever. It was so bad. Gabe and I watched it together and we didn't even finish it because it was not a good movie. And the show, Beef, is kind of similar to the concept of like two people getting into it over like a road rage incident, but it actually goes way deeper than that. It is so good. Most of the show is just about like two people having this like crazy beef with each other. Um. What makes it so interesting is that it's a guy and a girl who who I want to say are like around the same age, but it ties in all the other aspects of their life. It's so interesting. You just have to watch it. I was telling people on Instagram, me giving a description of the show does not do it justice. Like just check it out. You will be hooked from the first episode, I promise. And then also the night agent, which I did mention that in my Freddy's mukbang, but but for those of you who maybe didn't see me recommend that, because I said it pretty late in the video. <laughs> that video was long. Yeah, the night agent is a really, really, really good show. That was like the first one that we watched out of all of these. Um That's the show that got us back into like binging shows on Netflix. <laughs> it's so good. And then, let's see, what else? I feel like I've watched something else and now I'm forgetting it. I can't quite remember the name. Not quite sure where my phone is, otherwise I'd look it up. So I'll pop it up on the screen so you guys can see. But yeah, it's a movie on Netflix. It was honestly pretty good. Kind of scary movie, but it's not that scary. I'd say it's more of a thriller than a scary movie. So pretty good, check that out too. Okay, I'm making a mess on my face, but wow. This food is so good. I definitely see why it's so popular. Everything is just amazing. These Zyatar fries, if that's even how you pronounce it, it might be Zatar fries. I don't really know. Those are so good though. Mm -mm -mm. And then let's bite into our pickle. I love getting a pickle with my subs because it's just a refreshing crunch. Do you hear the crunch? <laughs> it always kills me when people, I'm not going to say they complain, but they comment saying that I chew very loudly or like the chewing gets on their nerves. But I'm like, that's the whole point of a mukbang is for like the chewing sounds, right? I mean, the mukbangers that I watch, I don't necessarily watch for the chewing sounds, but obviously the, the chewing comes with it. They're eating food on camera. <laughs> like, you're gonna hear their chewing. So it, it always confuses me when I read a comment like that of people saying that the chewing bothers them. I'm just like, why are you watching a food video then? You know? I can't chew silently, <laughs> like, I can't cut out the chewing noise, and I, I feel like a lot of people watch. 
like to hear the chew, but I don't know. Maybe I'm just crazy. Man. These falafel. These hit the spot. The only thing I'm worried about is this food is going to mess me up, like mess my digestive system up because it has a lot of seasonings. And usually when I eat a lot of food with seasonings in it, I tend to get a little bit backed up, if you know what I'm saying. But I think I'm just going to try to counteract that with fiber. Those Olipop drinks that I always rave about in my What I Eat A Day videos, those have a lot of fiber in them and they're really good at keeping your digestive system moving, moving and grooving. Which is very important, okay. We can't have a backed up system over here. <laughs> okay, I will say, after eating this food, I am craving something sweet. I should have looked at their desserts, which Maybe I can try to find my phone. It's probably in my purse. Oh, I just whacked my head with my purse. Yep, here we go. Okay, phone secured. I'm gonna go to their menu and see what they have for desserts. Not that I'm gonna go back in there, I don't think. There is a Starbucks, so I might go to Starbucks and get a drink. Um, I don't know though. I'm honestly really full right now. <laughs> like I am very full. I say I'm full as I eat more fries. <laughs> they also have bowls so if you guys don't want like a pita or a sub if you want something that is not bready they do have bowls they also have pasta salad chicken salad they got so much stuff here <gasps> they have baklava they have baklava oh, I should have got some baklava I love baklava and that's another thing, is baklava Mediterranean or is it Greek? They also have a nutty date bar, which also sounds really good, but I just love baklava. I've gotten baklava in the past quite a few times from like other places, other Greek food places. I don't know, there's this one place called Mythos. That's where Gabe and I go to like get this kind of food from. I'm pretty sure that place is considered Greek though. Like they identify as a Greek restaurant, not Mediterranean, but maybe it's the same thing. I don't know, like I said. <laughs> You guys who know, educate us in the comment section. Let's try to take one more bite of this. <clears throat> Came like full to the max, but uh, we'll try. We'll try. Let me not do that. Let me try to get over this. Ah. Uh. Okay, there we go. That was a satisfying bite. Oh. Okay. Well, this was all very delicious. If I had to actually rank this place, I kind of feel like I should try this rice. I don't have a fork though. Let's just try a little bit of it. 
Oh yeah, it's just plain like sticky white rice. It has a little bit of a flavor to it. I'm not quite sure what flavor it is. Almost like they might have just cooked the rice in salt or like some oil to give it a little bit of flavor, but it's not like the Greek rice that I'm used to. Which again, this place is Mediterranean, not Greek. That's really gonna bug me. Clearly I'm not very educated on geographical regions. So maybe Greece is in the Mediterranean. I don't know. Now I kind of want to look it up because I feel like I just sound like an idiot, <laughs> which is totally fine. Yeah, so I guess Greece is in the Mediterranean. Anyways, you guys, <laughs> that's gonna be it for this mukbang. I am saving the rest of this food for Gabe because he was really interested in trying this place out. So he'll probably eat the rest of this, but thank you all for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you all enjoyed seeing me do a Mediterranean food mukbang and trying Gassans for the first time ever. Now granted, it probably is like a, an Americanized version of Mediterranean food, but I hope you guys still enjoyed it. I love you guys so, so much. Please drop a thumbs up down below if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys!